And welcome back to the Factor on Censored. Day after day, we hear about how inflation is hurting consumers. We don't have to tell you. You don't have to hear it. We live it all the time. Now, the question that is raised, what is being done to help those in need? Judge Wanda Adams here in Texas and Houston tells us about how they are teaming up to help people avoid evictions from their homes before it's too late. So what are you looking at to keep people from being evicted from their homes? Thank you, Isaiah, for having uh, me on today. What are we doing in Precinct 71? We have partnered with Workforce Solutions. And just like I tell, encourage the tenants every day, every week when they come into our office that, you know, there is hope for tomorrow. But usually like 90% of the time when the tenant comes up to the bench while I'm sitting, I ask them what's going on. I give them the opportunity to share. And usually it's because they say, Judge, I, I lost my job. And the true eviction diversion to prevent anyone from being eviction is to get these tenants back to work. Because once they make it to me, of course, you know, I have to follow the law, but we want to make sure that they leave with the actual resources on September the 21st with work um, for solutions and hoping them to meet with actually job employment specialists on that day on Wednesday. And of course, and I want to make this perfectly clear as a judge, uh, uh, when you're doing an eviction involving individuals, involving families, you can't tell the landlord, hell no, they're going to stay in that house without paying rent. You have a specific set of laws and rules and policies you have to follow in order uh, to handle the situation, right? Yes, Isaiah, definitely. Because of course, you know, according to the Texas Property Code, the landlord, they do have the right to possession because of breach of contract. And normally it's when the tenant does not pay rent. Now, of course, you know, we have those tenants that are being evicted because other breaches, not following the rules or any other breaches that they break. But right now it's dealing with that tenant who have been working for so long, then all of a sudden they lost their job. You know, um, Omicron COVID is still re real, real. A lot of the tenants' hours are being cut. You know, a lot of cars are being repossessed right now because they cannot afford to pay the car note. So there's a lot of stories that I hear every week that will sadden your heart for some of the individuals who have been working all this time. And due to hard times, what has happened in their life, they're just not able to find that employment. And so they don't have a car, but they do make it to court. And I do say that they do come to court. So that's why we decided to bring the resource to them when they come on Wednesday. Now, what kind of jobs are, or is that uh, do you have that specific information and what kind of jobs that will be available through this program for those who are looking at getting um, more employment? Yes. So Isaiah, one thing about evictions, it does not have any particular label. I've had someone that walk into our court who was engineers. I've had nurses to walk in. I've had teachers to walk in. And fortunately, I did have some attorneys who had to grace my uh, my bench and been evicted off. So I did talk to Workforce Solutions. I asked them, I said, what kind of job? They said at all levels. They have all levels from the retail all the way up to engineers, up to nurses. They have all types of jobs that are available. And by the good thing about this, it is in our service area as well because as you know the medical center does fall in precinct seven and so they have all levels of unemployment so one thing about eviction isaiah i've seen all types of tenants who've graced the bench regardless if they was meeting at a certain income or those who actually went to college and had three degrees that i've seen uh, come across because when people lose their job it's not according to any type of race gender or what type of level it's just that when people lose their jobs due to economy it affects everyone Absolutely. It's all about the dollar, green dollar. For those who are interested in taking part in this program, what do they need to do when and where? So we're actually having the event on this coming uh, Wednesday, beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. at the courthouse at 5737 Cullen Boulevard. And Isaiah, even those persons who are dealing with second chances, I just found this out on last week when they came into the office, they said even persons who are dealing with second chances, they can come. So they've actually reached out some to employers who are hiring persons who may have some type of prior record. And so they are accepting individuals like that. Because you've been evicted and you feel like you have a record, you can still come on Wednesday, September the 21st, beginning at 9 o'clock a.m. And we would be there until 4 o'clock uh, on Wednesday p.m. on Wednesday. This does not stop the eviction, Isaiah, but what it will do is hopefully give them hope. Make sure you check that out Wednesday at Justice Court 7 to 1 here in Houston, Harris County.